Good morning everyone. Today is March 19, 2024. Time right now is 9.16 a.m. Eastern. So what do we have in news? Today is housing stats at 8.30 which is already done and of course tomorrow is the big important news so watch out for that. So we got the settle and last right here. As you can see the, it's all below. Overnight was traded below so it's 100% short and we have an extremely prominent POC. So that's two observations. 100% short, prominent POC and yes, I remember we had this gap up, right? This was Friday's high. This was Monday's open. This is a gap up. Yesterday's market was very interesting. It was very boring, but something to observe after the fact, of course. But the B high could not take out this Thursday's high, and it just slowed down. C was in a short inside bar. We had uh, poor highs on the C and D, weak on the E high. And then, of course, if you even see the JK highs, the LM highs, all poor. So even this was poor on the downside, all of these levels here. So very short term tra traders are in this market. They are just trading uh, point, point A to point e, B, B, right? It's level to level trading. But at the same time, this was telling me that the inventory is getting too long. If you even see the overnight session from the, the m Monday morning, um, you will see a, an important observation was that the launch pad, the settle and last was right here, exactly at this level. So this launch pad in the overnight was from a very weak reference. Of course, you don't really consider much in the overnight, but I did make that observation. If you see another thing, the POC from Friday, see that low where it came in for the overnight, right at that uh, POC from Friday, uh, Friday. So that again told me that a lot of weak hands really pushing this market, active in the market, and here we are. So it went too long, nothing on the upside, and we left these uh, poor highs which was an indication is which is an indication when the market is too long and then even on the lows which broke that we had a spike in the M period and the market has just traded lower uh, since the open because it settled was right here right so these are just observations it's not a rule that if you do see something like this a launch pad and it's weak it's going to come back down no it's just an observation the biggest uh, difference was the um, the gap up right that was a bit confusing and I mentioned it even in the Discord group that it's it's just don't feel the market, just don't feel the market. But then I saw these weak highs and it just told me the market is just getting too long. Anyways, guys, moving forward, again, watch this prominent POC. Let me just split that up. Um, yeah, that's the prominent POC. Look below the February high, came back in. Another thing to observe is this market is just balancing out in this zone, if you see this, right? So I wanted to put another balance zone, but I think it's just too much clutter on the chart. I don't want it to get too confusing. So if you see, this is like a balance zone from that important support level at the bottom, which I drew here, right? So this is like a balance zone, and that's an important support level there. Now that is also half from February high to this low. Uh, I don't really watch all this, but it's short term traders are in this market and they see all these things like a half and all that. So odds are high that these lows don't last. Okay, this low, you're at 5158. And if we see continuation lower, that could be a level to watch. And then of course, you could continue lower. Remember, this is still non-access here on this day, which was uh, Tuesday, March uh, 5th. So let's just quickly take a look at what I'm talking about. Okay, that's this day here right so we have a non-access there as well and I said that's an important uh, support level there okay I know guys this is too much information so uh, just take your time to re review this I'll be taking this off because I'm just seeing this February high I don't like too much charts on uh, things on my charts uh, so I'll keep it simple like this okay I'll just watch to see if this high gets breached if we see continuation low to this prominent POC from Friday and the Friday lows then I'll watch this level here that 5156 and then of course continuation lower into this level here okay on that's on the downside on the top side we had this POC here from yesterday this uh, high here I'm seeing this B high as non access though it has got access now that's a uh, some might say what what do you mean by that right so if you see this B high from yesterday we had some good single prints here right but I'm just watching it how it sold off from this Thursday highs yes it's against the conventional market profile theory but I'm seeing this as a non-access it just feels like a visual level this makes it weak that's why I'm saying it as a non-access basically it's just weak okay 
So it's weak here um, on the top side as well. And of course, on this day, we saw non-access here. And uh, we have kind of good access here, but it's not great. Um, so that's that's where we are. I know, again, uh, too much here. Uh, we have a spike down in the end period. And we have a prominent POC. All right, guys, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Aloha.